Disabled and stuck inside their own home, a Metro family turns to In Your Corner. They blame apartment construction that's dragged on for months and a front office in no hurry to help either. But you at home, viewers, delivered once again. Adam Snyder explains. I do feel like a prisoner. Weeks have passed, but the wait continues for Frank and Judy McCollum. I just like to have an answer. Their lone complaint, a railing removed from outside their building. Construction at the Isola Bello Apartments has gone on now for months, leaving Frank a near daily dialysis patient and his 83 year old mother homebound against their will. I have to do dialysis three times a week. And in that weakened condition, there's no way I can get up and down those stairs without a rail. Now, I'm 83, so I don't have good balance anymore. And uh, I didn't think it would be down for this length of time. When last we met, a promise by property management gave the McCollums hope. Give me an update real fast again. What are we looking at here with the railing? Monday. They're right behind us right now, installing the railings back there, and then they're moving this way on Monday. But that Monday was at least two Mondays back. Still no railing, still no word from the office. Meanwhile, the only time Frank and Judy can leave is with the assistance of Frank's medical team. There's been no update, no answer or anything. I have no idea. Do you think that there'd be a railing up by now? Well, I would have assumed that, uh, yes, that they would have done that. So we gave management another shot, but got little of an explanation. Oh. You guys are welcome to come look. It's yeah. not up. It's not up yet. Yeah, they're, we're working on it, yes. They're, they're, they've got the railing part up. They're putting in the slats. We, we were just there. There's, there's, there's nothing up there. No, okay. No, working on that yeah. With what these people need, we couldn't just put that railing up one day. I mean, it takes longer than one day. It, you, this is a construction site. It is not a, we just put up a railing. There, there is a whole process to it. You would think someone handicapped would be a priority. And I guess we're master here. So, well, but here in the corner, we like to end on a happy note. This time, provided by Bailey, a sales manager from out in El Reno. It's just unfortunate. You'd think uh, people take care of the elderly and people in need just a little bit better. But in his hand. Anything we can to help them. Uh, food, getting to a new lease, whatever it is, just help. A check for $400 that couldn't come at a better time. Some people are so great and the people, some people are just fresh. Like this apartment complex, you know, it's trash. Those are treating us like this, and then someone wonderful like that comes along. And while their fight continues, Judy and Frank are looking toward a new home and a fresh start. Nice to know that there are people out there that they're still good in the world. Yeah. And uh, I think that's. It's, no, it's fantastic. But we do have an update in this story. Nearly a week after our second visit to the office, we're told the handrail is back up. However, Frank and Judy are closing in on the end of their lease, and they tell me they hope to be out sometime in September. I'm Adam Snyder in your corner. And if you need somebody in your corner, give us a call on our In Your Corner hotline or send us a message on our website.